Hi guys, my name is Adrian Santos and today we'll go over the Bamboo workflow. We're going to be talking about how to create build plans, creating tasks, using relative directories, and understanding how to read the logs. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over to Bamboo. Once you're here, at the top you're going to see a create button in which you can create a plan, clone a plan, create a project, or create a deployment project. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can create a plan and customize it. So the first thing is we're going to create a plan. You're going to select a project in which this case is going to be um, the effort web app and web API. You're going to put the plan name. Let's say that this is going to be effort build plan. Um, the plan key is generated sometimes. You might have the same plan key as another one, in which case you might have to edit it and uh, change it. And then you're going to link a repository. You don't have to do this right now because you can link more than once later on. But for just purposes, I'm going to go ahead and link effort web app. Once you press configure plan, you're going to see that this configure job uh, window shows up. For now, we can just go ahead and press save and continue as we'll configure that manually. All right, so the next part that I want to talk about is how to create tasks and using relative directories and also understanding how to read the locks. So we'll head on over to the build plan um, right now. We'll go ahead and go through the default jobs. And then here's where you'll see the tasks. The first task is usually the source checkout, which just checks out the uh, Bitbucket uh, content. And this right now is using the default branch for the repository, which is develop. So we'll go ahead and add a task. So this is going to be an effort build plan. This is just going to build effort. And the good thing about this plan is that it'll give feedback on whether the project can be built on the server. So we'll go ahead and add a task. We'll add a script task. We'll call this one build web API. And then we'll do a .NET build. Now down here, as you can see, you have arguments, environment variables, and working subdirectories. So um, we're going to be using the working subdirectory. So once this Bitbucket uh, gets checked out, once uh, the, the repo gets checked out, you can go ahead and specify which directory in the repo you want to run this command. So for example, I want to run the, the .NET build under effort slash web API actually, sorry. Effort slash web API, we'll go ahead and save that. We'll add now another task, which will build just effort directly. So we'll call this one build same thing, .NET build, and working subdirectory will do effort slash effort, but I'll go ahead and make a small mistake here. Go ahead and press save, and you're good to go. If you head on over to the effort build plan, as you can see, I was testing this out. Um, you will most likely the first time have to go to actions and enable the plan. I think at the beginning, it's always disabled, so you just press enable the plan, and it'll be able to run. And then just press run plan and you'll see that everything begins to to work now it failed we know why because obviously I put the wrong directory it's supposed to be effort slash effort but this is a good uh, test so that you can see how you can read the logs so if a plan is failing if you go onto the logs you can actually see why the plan fails so right here, it says caused by the working directory home, bamboo, bamboo agent, blah, 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 blah. Effort slash effort TA must exist before executing the process. And this logs will be the same for whatever issue. So the same logs that you get in your IDE, Visual Studios, Visual Studio Code, you'll get the same logs in here as well. So if we go ahead and head on back to configure the plan, default job, the script, we fix the mistake, press save, and run the plan. You will see that effort web API builds and effort also builds. 
A little bonus that I want to go over is how to actually create plant branch. So if you see this button here that says create plant branch, if you press on that, then you can actually specify which branch you want to add to the triggers. So for example, right now this is pulling from develop, but let's say you want also master to whenever there's a change to master for this uh, plan to, to work, you can go ahead and specify that, create, and then right over here you see all the configuration. Um, you can change the trigger, so whenever a remote trigger, repository, po uh, polling, scheduled, or manual. In this case, usually you want to keep it as Bitbucker server repository trigger. This means when there's a commit, uh, when there's a commit, or there is a pull request, uh, this master uh, branch will get triggered. And then you can go ahead and press save. And then now, if you head on back to effort build plan, you'll see the develop, which is the default branch, but you'll also see the master branch. And then uh, the first build plan will always run automatically, or you can run it manually as well. And as you can see, it pulled all the information, it pulled the repo, it pulled the actual master branch, whatever is the master branch, and it, uh, it'll it build it for you. And it'll give you feedback, of course, on whatever issues that you might have.